Well, good morning. This is the Broadcast Asia 2019 show. I'm at the Techtel booth with a lot of my friends. David Wood, by the way, right here. And Hello, Casper. Good morning, David. Good morning, it's been Casper. A pleasure. Hope you had a great dinner yesterday, did you? I did. We had the most terrific food at a French restaurant. Thanks I love it. Thanks to our Japanese friends. And so you guys busy instead of just uh, having uh, McDonald's like usual. <laughs> so in our tiny booth space, we have set up a number of our units, but not all of them. We couldn't fit it in. We have a screen where we can show a TriCaster system running with a, uh, a LifeFly. And one of the things I like about the LifeFly is we put in a Japanese kanji um, writing in the display. So we can show that it's actually possible to put uh, Asian, actual Asian writings, I don't know what is the generic term for that, into our nicely OLED labeled products. That's so great. And we have the PVC fly here. This was also during the show configured to work with an ATEM switcher as well as the new tech camera we have over here, which was and is a very exciting part of being at a show that is to show customers how we can configure things, which is as always done so easily with a USB cable into your computer. And that's why we have the MacBook right here where we can show the fantastic configuration interface that we sport for our devices. So it's, it's really, it's always a lot of fun to, uh, which we actually did with these characters, just on the fly download some Kanji characters from the internet and putting on the displays within a few minutes. So if you want to know how we did this with the LifeLight, putting the Kanji characters into it, it's really simple because we just connected it with USB and then we hit the online configuration tool which brings up a web browser and when you see the LifeFly right here, you go to the Manage Media tab, and in the Manage Media tab, you'll see that I just uploaded pictures. And those pictures are then assigned to the buttons in the configuration tool, which you may have seen in a number of videos we made already. Um, we also have the PVC Pro right here. It is connected with this new tech camera, so we can show pan tilt zoom control as always. Um, then we set it up with a camera selector, which actually works with the ATEM switcher we had done. Oh, there's a live fly, sorry, uh, air fly. Yeah, and as you can see, the air fly is hooked up with an ATEM switcher right there. Yes, and when I press these buttons, you see it's actually operating the preview on the ATEM switcher as well. So we have also had the joy of showing how multiple controllers talk to the same devices and pull status out of them. For instance, if we are talking to this camera, we have been able to demonstrate how adjusting iris on this camera, you see I'm adjusting this value and you'll see as the RCP over here picks up the state information from the camera, it will adjust its fader. If I'm changing the fader over here, you'll see that the PVC Pro picks up the state also from the new tech camera. This is Skyway controllers in a nutshell. We insist on having a tight integration with devices, pulling states out of them so we can show it in the displays. And that's pretty much about it. Oh, the TriCaster system, of course. So we have also TriCaster up here. So we can uh, show all the usual stuff of cutting on the ME bus row. We have, um, uh, we can show about changing inputs and outputs, uh, showing the, uh, the audio adjustments we can do with the uh, four-way buttons. Like here, we are actually adjusting the audio of uh, an input source. We can turn on and off audio as well. So all these things can be done. Um, let me see. So now I'm doing this solo on off over here. It's a bit hard to see with the blue color versus the gray. But anyway, all these things for the TriCaster are at display at the Tectel booth at Broadcast Asia 2019. Thanks for watching and see you at another show.